Uh, hello out there YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be my response to the Steelers versus the Titans. And the Steelers actually went and held on to win 27-24. to uh, The Titans at the end of the game went for the game-tying field goal and missed. That, that, and that was the difference. Um, uh, it was quite a game. The Steelers got out to a big lead and basically held on by the little bits of their teeth at the end to win. And so, yeah, it, it, quite a game. Um, on the positive side, the, the team looked great in the first half, and then the second half, not not so good. Um, turnovers, particularly from Ben, um, were, a pro were a problem for the team. That was a problem with putting the, the Titans away. Um and on top of that, they really weren't able to run the football to re enough to take the um, the ball out of Ben's hands. So if they can just run the football enough, and they then Ben doesn't have to make throws when they're up by quite a bit, um, then yeah, then 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 they they were able to put the Titans away. But they couldn't run the football well enough to take the ball out of Ben's hands, and Ben actually made made some turnovers, which. Um, you know, now a lot of these turnovers were bounces where they were in deflections and where they went off the receiver and ended up going into the opposing player's hands. But still, you, you know, the, uh, the other thing I, I noticed was that Ben was a bit off when it came to putting the ball on the money so that the wide receiver could run with the ball, um, as opposed to just being being catching it and then having to work on running they they you know there i remember one play in particular that cost the viewers a few a number of few a few yards because the receiver had to turn around and actually make the catch before they could actually run with the ball um that was an issue i know the loss of devin bush is certainly hurting hurting the defense um he He's an elite player, and that is not something that you can overcome very easily. Uh, but they they so far have done so. I mean, injuries are a part of the game, and you certainly hope that they can. Um, I certainly hope that they they can play. They can still play well, and hope we still go on and win the Super Bowl without Devin Bush. But that's that that's um that, that's big at this point. The Steelers need to work on their running game. Um, far beyond anything else, they have to be able to run the football. Uh, that will close out games, that will close out opposing teams. And the Steelers have not shown that they're able to do that. that that's actually my biggest concern for the team. Um, when you keep having three and outs, or when you keep having turnovers, and you keep putting your defense in a bad spot, at some point... Uh, the defense is going to give up. Is is going to you know, is going to uh, they're going to be chinks in the armor. Um, so that yeah, my my concern right now for the for the Steelers is running the football. Um, as far as the Titans go, they were they slow, they just started very slowly and they couldn't get anything going and it took them too long to actually get something going. For looking at it from their point of view, they. They they were never able to completely recover from the flat start. They came. They almost did. They almost brought it back into overtime, but they they weren't able to kind of. They didn't have enough time to finish the job. And if they had the game gone to overtime, who who knows what would have happened? But the defense did. The Steelers defense came up big though when it need needed to, as far as making a stop goes. Um. And now I was, I I was hoping I was looking for a turnover, and that that is actually how the Steelers, that's how the Steelers have really been able to put teams away. Is they've actually had turnovers that have basically sealed sealed victories. But there there, there was no turnover to be had in this game. So um, overall, it, a good effort by the Steelers. I mean, if you could feel that this was going to be a tough game, and I felt the game could have gone. Either way, at the start of it, and I, I, I know the Steelers are predicted to go three and zero over the next three games. But I think I believe it was um, Tony Romo who made that prediction when he watched the Steelers against the Browns, and it, 
you know, as much as I would like to say, yes, I think that will happen. Um, you know, no team goes 16, you know, teams, there was only been one team that has actually gone 16. No, they went on to lose the Super Bowl. Of course, that was the New England Patriots. Um, yeah, I don't expect them to go 16 and 0. Uh, so they're going to, there's going to be, they're going to be, there's going to be at least a loss or a couple losses here, uh, coming down the line. They're, they're not going to win every game. Um, but I was, I, you know, this could, this was one that I felt they certainly could have lost. And I felt coming into the game that they could, they could, that they could lose this game. Um, it was nice to see the fast start and that turns out is what they really, really needed. That was crucial. Um, and they were able to hold on at the very end, but they needed every, every point that they could get. Um, including at the end of the first half when they actually had a chance to tack on more points. I felt like they um, actually had a missed opportunity there when Ben also threw an interception in the end zone. If they could have made even a, small, a short pass to get out of bounds, at least get another field goal out of it. But they, yeah, they didn't get anything out of it. Uh, the same with on the last, Steelers' last drive when there was another turnover. And the Steelers could have gotten points. They could have at least gotten a field goal and they came away with nothing. So, um, again, though they did get off to a nice start and they were able to hold on at the end and they got the win. That's, that is what matters. Um, but that'll, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Uh, please hit the like button. That does help my video get, it'll get it out to more, more people will be able to see it. And please consider subscribing to my channel for further content as, I plan on doing another video for each each Steeler game, and I do have another plan actually to put out a video talking about the um, all the slasher villains. From I mean, I won't be talking about all of them. I'm I'm actually going to tell I'm actually going to tell you who my number one is, who I feel is the top of the baddest of the bad, the best the, the best slasher villain. And why I feel that this this slasher villains movies are the best, but so stay tuned for that video. And again, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And everybody have a wonderful day.